this is Melissa Hall from SoyCandleMakingTime.com and today I'm going to be starting a series on how to get your business up on the internet. So today I'm going to start with just a short video on how to set up your website, how to go through the registration po process with, with the hosting company and just to, to get a quick website up there, up and running. And um, then in the next videos, I will go into a lot more detail on how to set up your web store and all that stuff. So um, anybody can benefit from this, not just candle makers, but um, I am going to be speaking specifically to candle makers since that's what my website's about. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go to my resources page. And then I will scroll down to business needs and web hosting, and we'll go over to bluehost.com. And I've used Bluehost for over eight years now, and rarely have any problems with them. They've been really good, and I use them for all my websites, so I highly recommend them. So let's go ahead and it's it's really simple. Uh, going through the registration process. So let's go ahead and click get started. And I am going to go ahead and start, just do the starter package for now. Um, you might want to go ahead and do the plus package. That's what I have for my main websites. And just so you can have um, more space on your account in case and have more room to grow but you could always upgrade later so if you want to go ahead and start with the lower cost package that's totally fine and then right here I'm going to if I don't have a domain name then just type uh, what domain name you want in here and it'll uh, tell you if it's available or not if you already have one you can go ahead and type that in here and They'll uh, give you instructions on how to transfer that domain to this account from your previous account. So I'm going to go ahead and type in a new domain here. Do it yourself. Beeswax candles. And we're going to keep it .com. .com is usually the best if you can if you can find that. If not, you can always use um, .net or <clears throat> click next okay now I'm going to go ahead and put my account information in here now package information um, to get the lowest price you would need to pay for three years uh, in advance. So um, I am going to just do the one year price and that's $5.95 a month and you pay for this uh, for the full year and we'll go ahead and keep domain privacy protection I'm not going to do site backup pro and I'm not going to do domain security those are things that aren't necessarily needed billing information and then make sure I confirm is clicked and click next. <coughs> okay, and then it's going to ask you to select upgrades, which you don't need to do. So we don't really want to do that. Um, unless you're transferring a website, but I'm assuming most of you are starting with a new site, so let's go ahead and just complete. Okay. So now I need to create a password. Confirm. <coughs> Mm 
Okay. And we'll create <coughs> Okay, so now we can go ahead and log in. Uh, our hosting account is created. And now, what we'll want to do is go to hosting. Okay, so we don't need this unless you want it to walk you through. But right now, we're just going to get our WordPress um, site set up. So uh, you, you just go to hosting like I said and then go down here to install WordPress. And then we'll just go ahead and install. And you don't need to do anything here. It's just going to be installed right in this on that website. So Okay, so click I have read the terms and conditions and install now. Okay, so we don't need any of this. So we don't really need to do anything there. And now we're just going to wait for the for Word WordPress to install. And then I'll show you um, how to log in there and do a few things with the site. All right. So we can go up here, view credentials. Okay, so login information, um, it just has a password created for me, uh, so I'm going to copy that, and the admin URL is where you want to go to um, edit your website, your new website, so let's go ahead and go there. Okay, so username is my email address, and then I will paste my password in here and log in. Alright, so this is the back end of the website. This is your admin area. This is where you will do all your editing for your website. Adding pages, adding posts, changing the appearance of it. Um, let's go ahead and go up here. If you click up here, this will take you to your home page that everybody sees. So this is what we have right now. Just the basic WordPress theme. Okay, so click back up here again and that'll take you back to the admin area. <coughs> okay, so I'm going to show you how to change the theme. So let's go to themes and we can click or we can click right here wordpress.org themes it already has some themes and pre-installed so you could use one of these themes if you wanted to and if you do want to use one of these themes you can just hover over it and click on activate and that will change to that would change it to this theme okay so right now though i'm going to go to the many, 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 many free WordPress themes that WordPress offers. So as you can see, there are tons and tons of them that you could choose from. 
Um, you can sort them by, let's go ahead and sort them by most popular. And we will find one here to go ahead and add. <coughs> and one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these have, let's go ahead and do this one. We'll install this one. This one has this really nice picture here. Um, but when you install it, it's not going to have that picture. You would have to make your own picture and insert it um, where that one goes. So, okay, so we click activate. And now let's go to our site again and see what it looks like. Oh, well. <laughs> This one has the picture, so I guess um, disregard what I said earlier. But a lot of them, a lot of them might have a picture on, you know, when you're looking at it in the theme store. But then you go and install it, and it doesn't have the picture. So this one does, which is kind of cool. This has all the pictures, so um, that's what our blog looks like now. Now we're going to, I'm going to just show you real quick how to add um, a post. So let's go to post and you can either, you know, just hover over post and add new or you can click add new right there. Okay, so let's title our first post. My first blog post, and right here is going to be the content of your post. So, um, let's do welcome to my first website. All right, nothing fancy. Okay, so let's go ahead and publish, and that will go ahead and put the web or the po blog post onto your website. So now that's published. We'll go back to our website and take a look and scroll down. So this one has this is actually a really cool um, theme. I haven't seen this one before. So uh, there's my first blog post right here. This one has just little excerpts from your latest blog post, which is really cool. I like the way this is set up. So let's go ahead and click on that, continue reading. And this is it right here. So yeah, that is how to get your website up quickly. Um, it's, it's really not that difficult to get your first website up. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into building your web store and we will get into that. But if you want to, um, you know, get, get a website up for your business and, you know, play around with, with some of the stuff on the back end and learn your way around, that would be a good idea to do before we get to our next video. So, uh, and if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment in the comments below, or you can contact me by email on my website and, uh, www.soycandlemakingtime.com. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it was helpful and hopefully you can go ahead and get your website up and running. Um, you can click on the link if you want to, if you want to use Bluehost, you can click on the link uh, in the notes below the video and that will take you to Bluehost and you can go ahead and go through the registration process just like I showed you on here. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day.